It's week 12 of fantasy football and you're watching The Couch. Here's this week's waiver wire list. I'm really excited about the running backs and quarterbacks that are on this week's list. Colin Kaepernick. Now he's a guy who reminds me of Cam Newton last year when he made it on a sleeper list on Fantasy Couch and he wasn't even the starter. Now there's no guarantee that Kaepernick's going to start but I think it's a very likely scenario. It's a high risk that you should be willing to take especially with all these mediocre quarterbacks and disappointing quarterbacks this year. Chad Henney's named the starter this week and he's going to be starting over Blaine Gabbert which was a terrible draft pick in my opinion and he's worth a pickup if you need a quarterback. Ronnie Hillman, now this is a must pick up in all leagues. McGahee's expected to be out the rest of the season. He's a good short term and long term pickup. Should be owned in 100% of leagues. Even though James Starks is not the ideal starting running back, he's a good pickup for your number four, number three running back in deep leagues. Jalen Parmalee makes for a good short term pickup as he's going to be starting over Rashard Jennings and MJD's out, of course. Not a whole lot of wide receivers that I like this week. Ryan Broyles makes the list yet again. He's a good pickup in a 12-man or deeper league. Um, of course, Nate Burleson is hurt. And now Titus Young's not going to be playing because of a coach's decision. I'm not too big on Mike Thomas, but he'll get his chance this week. He'll be in a lot of plays. And he may be worth the risk in a deep league if you're in a 14-man or deeper. If Julio Jones' injury is going to be a problem this week, Harry Douglas makes for a good pickup. And somehow Denari Alexander is not owned it. He's hardly owned in any leagues. He's only owned in 5% of leagues. He's on the list again. He's a must pick up in every format. I have a few tight ends to help you out if you need uh, help at that position. Or if you have Rob Gronkowski who got hurt. Jermaine Gresham, he's owned in a lot of leagues, but he's on here. You know, 25% of leagues still have him out on the waivers. He's a good pickup for this week and for long term. Brandon Myers, he's hardly owned in any leagues, not really getting the hype he deserves, and he's one of Carson Palmer's favorite targets. He's good for short term and long term. And Scott Chandler is a good pickup for this week. I have a gut feeling he's going to have a good game against the Colts. Not a whole lot of good defense special teams this week, but the Browns and the Panthers make good sleeper picks. The Panthers could even be a sleeper pick for next week, uh, week 13, as they face the Chiefs, so don't sleep on them too much. And here's a list of guys that you may be tempted to start, but if you have a replacement, have just about anybody else that can take their place, go ahead and plug them in. With all the injuries Dallas has at the running back position, Lance Dunbar may get some significant playing time, but I'd avoid him if you have somebody else you can start. Reggie Bush, he's been a disappointment to say the least the past two weeks, and I'd avoid him, especially this week as they face Seattle. Mark Sanchez is a guy you probably wouldn't trust anyway, but you really shouldn't trust him this week as he faces the Patriots defense. Look for him to have a terrible game. The Niners defense is a must start just about every week, but I see Drew Brees having a good game against them this week. And if you have another decent option this week, I'd plug him in over the Niners D.